Watch out, everyone. Watch out. We got a mad lad here. Mad lads, I should say. Lads. 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 And the good ones, too. Not not many. Mm. There was actually someone who tried to comment down below, just be like, how come you all don't watch Mini Lad anymore? You know, you, like, like you, he's actually really funny. And I'm like, if you're asking that question, then you need to do some research. It's not like he said bad things or had a shitty or, opinion or, or, or acted accusations. Like an asshole or, yeah. Yeah, just accusations, rumor, innuendo. No. He actually hurt people. And he admitted to it. And here's the thing we made a conscious choice to delete Everything off of our channel concerning Mini Lad, everything. There is nothing left on our channel that ha that has him as the main focus of it. Heck, I still w I still think about deleting like the Vanos videos and mm. stuff like that, or the Terrorizer videos that have him like in it. Yeah. And I have no, I have no like. Here's the thing. You like, there's ways to go about what happened, and he did everything wrong. Literally. Uh, and here's the thing. I, there's ways people can make up for, for when they do wrong stuff. For instance, Adam Blampier uh, from What Culture. Uh, I don't know if you remember him. He was like one of the big... I, I remember him. I don't know what he did, though. Um, turns out he, uh, he solicited like fa sexual favors uh, from fans and everything. And the fan literally like wrote like Adam was being manipulative and stuff like that and showed text messages... And Adam, like, when they all came up, he said, I have no, I have no excuse for this. I abused my, you know, my uh, position as a creator, and I solicited this, and I am retired, I am leaving the internet for now, and I don't know if I'll be back. If I never come back, just know, thank you all for providing me with this platform and giving me the chance to make an impact in so many people's lives. But I will, uh, but, you know, I need to take a deep look at myself before I consider doing anything. And then he was gone for, I believe, about three or four years. Literally went, went to therapy. Oh. Three to four years later, uh, someone asked him to guest on uh, a thing of what culture? And he's like, well, okay, or not what culture, but uh, Wrestle Talk. And he's just like, look, if I like it and, you know, people like me being back, I'm not going to make any excuse or anything like that. If they've forgiven me, okay. He came back. Everyone forgave him. Everyone was good. Everyone, like, and he still said, like, I'm not going to commit myself 100% like I used to or anything. Just know that, you know, I'm, I, I still love wrestling and I still want to contribute to this community. And he's back with Wrestle Talk uh, and Parts Fun Known, and he's killing it. I know Gene Simmons, like, there's talk of a lawsuit against Gene Simmons. I mean, about fucking time. I know there's one against Ron Jeremy, which, yeah. Bye, Ron. I mean, for the longest time, it's it's been really bad. It has. Yeah. And the fact that it's being called out now, I'm glad. Yeah. But there's such a thing as overreach. For instance, Aziz Ansari. That was overreach. Big time. Everyone reported on it and wanted it to be true. That's the thing. When people want it to be true... And they push the narrative as though it is true, yeah. but then all of a sudden, all the evidence comes out. It's like, oh, it turns out it's actually not true. And then they don't post a retraction or anything like that, or they don't apologize, or they don't pull the story down or anything like that. Like that's the thing. Like, Bro, you can't control that shit. Once it's on the internet, it's on there. No, I know. The only thing I can control is me, bro. That's it. And here's but and here's my thing about it. I keep tabs like, on me. To like, there needs to be like anti defamation suits like that that make websites be held responsible for posting stories like that. And in order to post a retraction, if something is seen as a, retr you know, if something is retracted, that was big news, you don't post the retraction on, like, the third page or, like, the, the tenth page of your, like, your update or, like, your, uh, your, weekly, uh, your weekly release. It is front page, and it is big, bold letters. Update, update, update. Uh, Aziz Ansari situation. Boom. Next thing you know, it, like his name is cleared. Boom. Well, That's how it should be. But instead, no, no. You it's would like, think after the Hogan situation, that stuff would happen more frequently. No, never. I, Gawker went bye bye after that. Oh, it did. But it, again, these news sites aren't held accountable. They're mad lads. N none of them are held accountable. Yeah, and mad lads. Speaking of. We got some here from good MK, ones, the good kind, the good kind of mad lads, not the not the bad Absolute kind. Absolute bird. Does that mean it's like burb? Burb. 
Yeah, no, it's Bird, but I just said Burb. Anyway, we got some Mad Lads here from MK. Let's see what's up. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? It's Joe Mama. Joe Mama. Yes, it is. What's up, guys, and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien, and today we're looking through r slash Mad Lads. I stole a chair leg from my school. How did you get it out? And why did someone give this a red and gold? <laughs> Why not? That's that's. I wish I gave no, him a red. That's I'm gonna find this wearing post. Fucking, I'm gonna give this man a red. He's wearing military gear. Yeah. He's got that desert camo on so. Yeah. He stole it from military school. No, they probably went and trashed a bunch of desks that were perfectly fine, so that their budget money would get spent on new desks. Really? They do shit like that all the time. Dang it! Again. Yeah, they, Wasting taxpayers' take money. Office equipment because they haven't spent all their money in their budget, and they'll trash perfectly good shit just in order to uh, get to yeah. spend the rest of their budget to buy new stuff. Deserves it, I think. And how hard those chair legs are to get out? Reminds me of a story back in God, I want to say seventh grade. Uh, we were watching the um, the Outsiders movie, the one with the Pony Boys. So I was leaning back in one of the chairs, one of the old flimsy middle school chairs, and as I leaned back, the back legs just gave out, and I felt my whole body oh. just rush to the ground. And it's middle school, so every kid, of course, whips around and points and laughs. And that was a good movie. It was a good movie, though. Someone stop this movie. Out- Someone stop this movie. Outsiders is a good movie. This downright yeah, bastard. Good. What do you think you're doing standing on that sign when it says specifically no birds on the sign? You're a rogue. Alcohol is bad. I must drink it all to protect the world. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most appalling behavior you've seen by a young child's parent? Mine. I was in a Walmart with my son and he started to act up. He wanted a toy and was about to start a tantrum. I knew what was coming, so just before he laid down to start his tantrum, I decided I would beat him to it. I flopped down and started throwing my own tantrum, wildly screaming and crying, beating my hands and kicking my feet. I screamed at the top of my lungs, I don't want to buy a toy! You're such a mean, horrible son! You never let me do anything I want! My son was so embarrassed. Other patrons stood around wondering what was going on. At least they caught on to my game. Some employees showed up and were about to ask me to leave before someone told them what was going on. Yes, I misbehaved. Yes, I made a spectacle of myself. Yes, I embarrassed my son, but he never threw another tantrum. That's 200 IQ. I'm going to do that to my kids. I honestly, I'd probably do that too. Maticus Laticus. Yes. Laticus Maximus. Yep. I built a base out of my old YouTube gold play button. Davy. It's not really a mad lad thing. That's just. Or no, cool. no, that's, that's uh, a. That's a. Um, more than anything else. Burl's that's arts. really sick. Man uses battle axe to fight off home intruder. Is it bad? Okay, so I don't own a gun, but I do own a. Motherfucker, look like a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. He does. I have to be this man. Me and this man are blood brothers, and I've never reinvented him until today. I love America. Separated this guy at birth. Got Biden to sign his meme. Gee, doesn't this feel right? Joe, I'm not leaving my wife for you. <laughs> you said we'd be together for eight years. I said eight years. Still. Joe, why do you write like this, Joe? If anyone knows what that says, can you tell me? Because I just can read Still and Joe Biden. But I can't see what any, I. I don't know what anything else on that says. So. Always be loyal. Joe Biden, mm-hmm. 2318. Uh, I just realized his name's Old Cordy Bastard. That's funny. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, the, 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 the reference, the ODB. ODB. So, this is really funny to I me. Love old old Cordy Bastard. Yeah. I love it. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Uh, shimmy, yeah. The concentration of wealth is staggering. But say you earn two thousand dollars an hour and work full time for the birth of Jesus Christ in LA. Let's say you never pay taxes and saved every penny. You'd have around eight. 8.3 billion today. Might still be 30 Americans richer than you. Well, maybe they born earlier. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're born earlier, Chad. Stop being such a virgin about this, Chad. Hey, very Chad. hey, 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 Damien. Be easy. We have a Chad right I'm here. Not, I'm the champion of chastity. He belts. is. He is the Giga Chad of chat of chastity belts. I have the championship chastity belt. Yeah, gold plated. You should see it. Mm-hmm. He has it mounted on his wall at home. Nikki's the only one who has the key to it. That's right. Hi. He did it. He ended racism. He ended racism. Not quite. Close. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. I'm looking at my audio file. He's just look. He's just like looking dead at, at the camera, just like, you know what I'm doing. Fuck this shit. Like, fuck Jim Crow. It's a dangerous-ass fucking picture to be taken, man, back then. The reality of the situation is just fucking wild as shit to even think about. Actually, considering, like, the laws 
the miscegenation laws in the place back then, if you were at least, I think it was like one sixteenth. Yeah. Which I, I I'm uh, between let's see seven and eight percent. So yeah, I probably would have to I probably would have to use it. I mean, that shit would have been a way fucked up situation for you back then. But how could they? You would have. How could they have known? Because your like, ancestry. Th- well, that's the thing. I know because of my ancestry. Dot, yeah, exactly. Whereas. DNA like, testing didn't even exist. Before. No, like they'd see my grandmother and they'd see like, but like the only thing they'd ask a question about is like my granddad on my dad's side where he was, where like he was really dark skinned. Yeah. And I'd just be like, uh, he's, um, he's native. He's probably the only place you would be really in bad shape would be Germany back in the day. Oh. Where they did fucking research. Especially since people. my name is Nathaniel. Right. That's, that's Hebrew. And yeah. oh, I'd have been, I would have been like, sent to the chamber yeah probably. especially big strong like boy like me they'd be like no you're yeah. first in i never I should have to. told my boyfriend that i used to masturbate with an electric toothbrush as a kid because now every time he brushes his teeth he asks me if i'm getting turned on and he calls me colgate but whenever he leaves the house he sends me pics of toothbrushes <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> bro I'm getting turned on by toothbrushes part wow. not, the, not the leaving the house part <laughs> you would do be like woman if your pussy smells like colgate i'm leaving you (laughs) babe why does it smell like listerine all over the house (laughs) (laughs) oh god dude day six of no no november as my power continues to grow my urges do also today was hard lots of content on the timeline I was even sent some ticks to try and break my resolve. I blocked her immediately. I will not allow such thoughtery to cloud my vision. I am relentless. I failed Nona November on November 1st at 3.20 in the morning. I even tweeted about it. I failed at the witching hour, and you know what? <laughs> For me, it was right as you turned over to midnight. Every sea in the Pacific Ocean is pronounced differently. It's the same with the E in Mercedes. Is it? I suppose you must pronounce it differently. Mercedes. Mercedes nuts with the Oh, he got him! He got him! <laughs> He got, he, got he got a platinum for that. He got a platinum. <laughs> I love Reddit. Reddit. Delete yeah. the I will do it tomorrow attitude out of your life. I'm going to delete it tomorrow. I like that. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ah, ha, ha. Are you going to delete that attitude without me? Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I will not illegally download this movie. Yeah, well, check it out. I pirated it. What are you, you going to do about that? What are you going to do about Simpsons? that? Simpsons? Matt groaning? I'm groaning at your movie, idiot. <laughs> That's why I illegally downloaded it. Damn. Man takes a dump down <laughs> Santa Claus ain't got shit on me. Hold out your stockings, kids. Yeah. Chim, Man chim, takes chim, a dump chim, down. Woman chim, chim, me after chim, she walked on popular dating site, wildsmash.com. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can understand if that was his landlord or something like that, but yeah. damn. She had Gigi Allen as her profile picture, so he was just trying to impress her. <laughs> he was making the ultimate move. Shooting yeah. A shot. All of a sudden, I was like, she's just like, why does the hash smell like shit? <laughs> you want to block me, do you? I'll give you a little bit of your... Also Scottish. This is in Scotland. Right, now listen here, you lit, you tot. I'm going to shake down your fucking chimney. What are you going to do there, right? I'm going to... I'm gonna drop a fat, a fat log straight on your, straight on your fire. I killed a man, and you? I used emojis on Reddit. Oh. Keep this distance. Leonidas <laughs> is that man. We just banned from life from every single Olive Garden after attempting to see just how endless the breadsticks really were. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? After 14 hours of nothing but breadstick consumption, I was promptly escorted out by police. We can't keep getting away. <laughs> you said they were endless, and I got Hey! Appetite. I have a bumper sticker that it. says, Honk if you think I'm sexy. <laughs> then I just sit at Greenland until I feel better about myself. Let's just say I'm quite a catch. Sad. And I drive a BMW. See, the joke there is BMW drivers suck. I get mad at my engineering yeah, they teacher, do. so I did my work in Japanese. Yeah, that'll show them. Look at those cute little smiley faces. Damn. <laughs>
Can someone write an article on millennials killing the doorbell industry by texting here from woke news dot from woken news dot com? <laughs> millennials are killing the doorbell industry by texting here. Yeah, so what about it? I got dogs and I want them barking. Soviet prisoner of war confronting Himmler, the very definition of a mad lad. Who is Himmler? I'm I'm a history buff. How do I Himmler was one yeah. of Hitler's right hand men. He was basically see, there was Goebbels, Goering, Propaganda. Himmler, uh yes. Um, he was the main fucking SS guy. Yeah. Uh, then there was Funk, mm. who was like head propaganda, like also like he was the news. Goebbels or whatever. Yeah. No, Goebbels was yeah. Goebbels was the minister of uh, propaganda. Yep. Uh, Funk was uh, he was the one who uh, like did news. Like he was yep. like the main news guy. And then uh, then of course there was Rudolf Hess, who was uh, uh, who was like SS the under, who was the undersecretary to Hitler. He was yep. literally anything that slid across. His desk, Hitler saw. Like, concentration camp shit. That's how they know that they were all major players. Oh, yeah. Is because they were all staring at that shit and just like, yep, this is what we want to do, for mm-hmm. sure. Like, this is the final solution. Fuck, man. Like, it's like all these POWs are just like, hey, Himmler. Hey, Himmler. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? It's like, it's like, what are you going to do? Take more Russians away? Go ahead. I'm Russian. This is what we do. They wanted to leave Russia just as bad as anyone else. I do not know this. Was he the doctor? I know they had like a doctor. No, that, that was, was like terrifying. Was he him? No, he was just a commander. He studied agronomy. What's, what's agronomy? Agriculture. How did you go from studying agriculture to serving Hitler? <laughs> how, That's how it goes, how, man. That's quite an arc. Every year I get my boyfriend a cake for his birthday. This year I asked what type he wanted. He said, I don't care. And it's a door cake. This is happy birthday, a hole. That's what he said. <laughs> it's like Quinn getting them to write fuck you on the on the cake for uh, uh, for Halloween. Yeah. That was awesome. That was I awesome. want a cake like that for my birthday. Me and my girlfriend that my racist parents don't approve of. Look at you two being happy together. It's that Romeo and Juliet type stuff in yeah. 2019 where people are gross and don't approve of color. I love it. Love that for you too. How do I say F you politely? With all due respect. Intercourse yourself. <laughs> Fun task. Why do you think the borders of the Middle East should be? Don't be afraid to group people with no regard for history and ethnicity. It worked for the British and French. <laughs> Invent new countries and create interesting and fresh conflicts. But be careful of their soil, because then it doesn't matter who. The red, white, and blue will be coming. Mm. <laughs> Stabilization of the Middle East. Honestly, one of the worst historical things that's happened over the last that's few hundred years. To happen. And still does happen, yes. Yeah, also, you're not including Turkey in there, especially like one part of Turkey where the Armenians were. Dude, the Ottoman Empire was savage, too. Oh, my that God. Was crazy. Well, it was after World War One, dude. After World War One, like, all of this basically became open to, the, uh, to Europe, and the British and the French just basically were just like... All right, you guys live here. You guys live here. Yes. You guys live here. Oh, and uh, Palestine, goodness. and Palestine got some bad news, bud. What did we do? It's like nothing, but we're giving a good portion of your land to the Israelites. Oh, and we're just gonna leave them here, not settle any of the conflicts, and uh, yeah, yeah. You guys hash this out. Yeah, y'all guys hash this out. Still hasn't. Probably never will be. Uncle Sam can smell oil from a mile away. You betcha he's coming around. I was so proud of my wife for getting excited for a video game until I saw her handle a controller. <laughs> Same way she held you big. Oh. Listen, she's just going to get this experience. She's just doing oh. what she's supposed to, okay? Good one, she Chad. Because she probably thought that she's supposed to handle the joystick like she handled the <laughs> Yeah! Hell yeah. That was good! I pulled, Damn. A, I pulled a U that time. Yes, you did! Just out of nowhere! <laughs> Just, woo! Great minds, I guess. Yeah, hey, hey, there you go. Hey, mad lad right here. Certified mad lad. Penis, all right? It's fine. Take it from Willie Guard right there. I know it's Wiley, Willie but Gard. Willie's funnier. Man helpfully declares Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself at the tail end of a Fox News interview. I saw this. It was great. This man on the left here, he panicked. You could see his big fake face start to panic. His rat teeth started to show. <laughs> Peter Dinklage admits he faked dwarfism. I've been on my knees the entire time. I knew you were. You didn't have to tell me that. I knew you were. I saw your little feet peeking out from behind you in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Knife attack victim pulls blade out of his stomach and stabs attacker to death. Holy what? shit! That's a dude. That's one bad mofo. That's yeah, was that damn. Don't mess with that yeah. guy. He's not playing around. <laughs>
Keep your hand away from there. Hi, I am Nanch Mojang. Would like to email you about how we would like to sponsor you. If you would accept our offer, we would offer you about $1 million. I would like to accept your sponsorship at Notch. I have no memory of this, but it clearly says that's me. I don't know who to trust. Dear parents and groups, <laughs> we will be playing unedited hip hop all day today for Wu-Tang Wednesday. For the clan, due to the nature of the music, there may be language which may offend you or your kids. Unless, of course, you take parenting advice from Old Dirty Bastard, in which case, Wu-Tang is for the children. And now a feature of the Clan ain't none of Probably with. fan art. You made a beast of a, of a creation. I love him. Look at that. Wow. I fear him, but at the same time, I have nothing but respect for him. I don't know what he'd want from me, but I, I would give him whatever he would, <laughs> whatever he would want. <laughs> this is cool. Thank you so That's much. That's awesome. I'm like, I'm like admiring, like, there's multiple, like, tails or, I'm guessing those are tails. That's really neat. I yeah. love that. Thank looks like so a much. creature and from, uh, for slash Mad looks like a creature from, like the video, uh, leave a nine. like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. And if you want to catch more of me, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Damien Lee Line. And as always, I'll be seeing you. Well... I think that's going to do it for this one. Oh, my God. And thank you all very much for tuning in. And I guess until next time, stay mad. <laughs> stay mad, haters. Oh, gosh. We'll see you all in the next one, everybody. Peace.